Hey, I'm Nick Long Gamer, and welcome back to Chef Life. Uh, this is episode 39. It is also the final episode. I'm busy. I'm very, very busy these days. I've got a lot going on, and uh, in terms of the channel, I've got some more things that are on the way, and I just have to make way. So uh, we're actually not even going to get a full regular episode in. It's just kind of a short outro of what we've accomplished, what there is left to accomplish, what we can kind of hack our way through doing a little bit more here in these final few minutes but looking at the characters and what was left for them it's all just a matter of time at this point the game while still offering something the game itself is just kind of repetitive at this stage we've unlocked every regular key feature that there is well anyway uh camilla the social media star we haven't finished with hers. There's a couple steps left to go. This one was easy. I mean, we're in Bistro, uh, but we just never picked the comfort food specific menu to satisfy her needs. We might have one or two days for all I know, uh, but until you've actually done four, four services, we don't know for sure. For Jiro, it's only a matter of time. We got the vegetable steak and the stuffed zucchini and she's learned on the previous day so we would have checked those off in the coming day but that it's the vegetarian dish number of days there's still three days to go with that that's three more episodes just to make that happen and that's why it's it's kind of just a little bit of a slog to to finish things off uh, Kasim's final mission we've done the first part 10 recipes labeled as seafood or fish already with his help and then specific to make all by himself and serve tuna steak, salmon with sorrel, sea bream fillet, red mullet fillets, uh, langoustine with vegetables. Again, matter of time. I mean, you could technically put all five of those on the menu one day and have Kasim done once and for all. Adele is at the same stage that Jiro is. For her, three marinated cubes of beef, three pork and veal meatballs, three diced pancetta. That's actually easier to do than what we have with uh, Jiro at this point. Uh, we could make that one happen pretty easy and be done in a day or two uh, in regards to that. Jean, regular rotation of jobs that come in for him. Same with the menu by committee and the anonymous VIP. Those are just random events. And then, of course, there's Hippolyte with the gastronomic menu. Uh, where he's looking for the fine dining menu and we're at that point i mean we're we're trying to get everything to that gastro level so you know it's it's a step ahead of where we're at right now but wouldn't be hard really wouldn't be hard to complete and that of course would put us into that michelin guide back on the evaluation of the restaurant itself the hygiene responsibility are easily maintained at the highest level. I've never bothered with upping the menu price because finances are not an issue. Right now we have 18 regular customers. We're a handful of days away from locking in the 20 customers once and for all to maximize that. Uh, the badges don't care much one way or the other, but we are at level 28 and we have an account balance of eight thousand and here's that confirmation of our three staff members and where they're at uh, level wise but it's not, it wouldn't take very long i mean we're talking about four or five days to finish up jiro and adele and get them to level 20. they of the of course then would have one more event remaining to to finish their story off but it's just a matter of time there's nothing complex or hard about what remains. Jumping into the research table, we of course already got all of the casual and restaurant cuisine recipes completely unlocked. The bistro level uh, that we're on now, I'm just gonna go ahead and learn all of them because we have the points for it. So let's see how far we can get uh, with the points we have. Right now we're down to 42 knowledge points. With a level of 28, it's not difficult to get these. It's just more about getting them learned that we could actually put these things on the menu. But all 
of the bistro recipes unlocked and still 16 remain which means we can unlock four of the gastro uh, recipes as each one costs four points and there you go matter of time to get the last dozen and then it's a done deal and that's already the highest level there is nothing beyond that no we we have not managed to go in and quite finish off everything that the game has to offer there is more there is additional content and if this is a game that you personally are absolutely in love with especially if you are a cook and it just hits in all the right places for you then it makes sense to continue on and see the entirety of what the game has to offer uh, for me unlocking five pages worth of recipes and the repetitive nature of what I'm doing day in day out has gotten to that point of being repetitive and it's it's time to make way for my next activity so sorry about this very short final episode I've really enjoyed this game when I first picked it up I got the key directly from cyanide because I do pro cycling manager and it happens that cyanide who made the game and then nakon who published it is also the publisher for pro cycling manager so between pro cycling manager and the tour de france titles this was just a natural fit and when i saw them advertising it through their twitter because i follow them on twitter because i'm linked to those two games i was like you know this actually looks like a quality authentic kitchen simulation game and my wife loves cooking she could be a professional chef but we have a daycare and she kind of does resemble that she does the cooking for the daycare she has a, a, a very hard time passing that off to others she she likes having that control uh, of the menu and of what's prepared on a daily basis now yes we, we have days where we have simple menus uh, we have peanut butter and jelly we have pbga days we we have chicken nugget days we have mac and cheese days but two to three times a week at the least we have good proper fresh home cooked meals from scratch she's very good at what she does and she's very passionate about it she watches terrible movies because one of the characters is a chef she watches all of the cooking shows and well she'll do that when i'm off working on things for the channel I'll watch a fair bit of things with her and I've grown to respect the kitchen a whole lot more over the last few years than I ever had before. I'm a former army guy who all the way back to basic training I was first squad leader all the way through basic training and every time my unit my platoon would come to the mess hall We'd line up in our formation by squad, first, second, third squad. We have a platoon leader, we have three squad leaders, and then we have the three squads. The order that the squads would go in to eat rotated every meal. But one thing did not change. Depending on whether it was first, second, or third squad, as we would enter, the squad leader and the platoon leader would peel off. Platoon leader would come in the door stop turn around and the squad itself would go off file in get their food and then that first the the squad leader of that squad would peel off right there with them the next squad comes in that squad leader peels off and therefore the three squad leaders and the platoon leader were last in the door every time and we had mere minutes to get through the entire meal and I was always at the end of the line, always. Some days I would be next to next to next to last. Some days I'd be next to next to last. And other days I'd be next to last. I was never last, platoon leader was last. And he was the same all the way through, he and I. His dad was a colonel, so he, he got named to that pretty quick. But he and I were the only two consistent ones. And he and I were always right at the end of the line, last to eat, and by time, I'd be sitting down with my tray of food. I'd often have 30 seconds to a minute, maybe two minutes left 
to eat because the entire platoon, I think it was five minutes, first soldier to last soldier through the door. And we had to be outside in formation, out the exit. I learned to eat really fast. 20 years later, I still eat fast. Not that fast. I don't inhale food, except for on rare occasions. <laughs> but I still eat fast. I don't respect food the way I should. Slowly but surely, my wife has changed that for me. More and more, I appreciate the food that I'm eating. I appreciate the tastes, the smells, the flavors that come with the food. And if you're here because you love food, if that's what brought you to this series, I get it. I feel you. I, 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 I'm still not quite there. But more and more, I get it. But for me, the game, after a while, it's just a game. It's just hit those buttons. I'm not paying attention to what ingredients we're using. I'm not, in, I'm not paying attention to what the recipes are because you gotta work fast to be efficient, to be at your best. And for me, games, I'm always working hard to be efficient and be the best. So I take the game aspects of this. And for that part, it's become totally repetitive. I've lost the hidden elements that are learning new recipes like an Arancini. Anyway, appreciate you being here. No, I am not getting any further gameplay in today. Sorry about that part. Just a little outro here. And I feel like I just extended that by about four minutes, but it's still a very short episode in the grand scheme of things. I think just about 40 episodes, 39 technically. It's a good total for this game and I did enjoy it. If you still have not picked this game up, maybe you're waiting for a sale, at some point get it. It's worth it. You'll enjoy it. I'm the Cathlon Gamer. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there and bye for now.